Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Located in Sheboygan, uh, just about to leave. And uh, we're headed for Green Bay. All right, the local time here is 1031. As you can see, I'm just leaving Hardee's. Today is Tuesday. What is it? Uh, March 24th, 2015. Once again, the local time is 1032. The temperature right now is 33 degrees. We are roughly about 50 miles from our shipper. Oh good grief, I forgot to put myself on the drive line. If I got enough room here, nope. Bear with me here. I'm new at this. You know, every time I go back out, I feel like I'm relearning everything, trying to remember everything else. On duty to driving, here we go. <laughs> All right, uh, so our load should be ready by noon. And uh, hopefully we'll be there not too early, certainly not late pick up our load for uh, bound for City of Industry, California, delivering Saturday, March 28, 2015, and uh, 7 a.m., just like we did uh, last week, or two weeks ago. And get this, I have a scheduled pickup in Hillmar, California, Hillmar Cheese. Let this guy go by here. I have a scheduled pickup on Sunday in Hillmar, California, Hillmar Cheese delivering to Texas. Can't remember where in Texas, but. Oh man, that's going to be cool. Something new for a change, right? Alright, what else is going on? I had a wonderful time at, week, uh, at home. Spent most of the time just riding around here in town. I did manage to go all the way to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, but uh, mostly just stayed home. It was too cold. A couple of things I'd like to talk about. A lot of people have been kind of curious and wondering what the PayPal account is for. First and foremost, the PayPal was intended for my personal ambition, personal uh, goal, personal, oh, I don't know what you call it, mission to be able to ride my gold wing all the way to the Black Hills, Mount Rushmore, and uh, South Dakota. I am uh, looking for people to sponsor for some gas money. Uh, motels 
and I am proud to say, very happy to say, that uh, we now have we. I mean, I say that we because hey, wherever I go, you guys will always be there too, right? So we have a hundred and five dollars of uh, let's call it. Uh, Let's call it the, uh, the uh, South Dakota project. I think that's what the uh, initial video was titled anyway. So again, we have $105 for the South Dakota project. And I am also happy that we have now $300 of uh, the uh, Bibles for the Philippines. Yesterday I received a $100 check from North Carolina. I think I believe, yep. North Carolina and I I know who you are, so thank you so very much. I will try to ask my wife the specific name I don't want to get out too many details out there because some people may not be comfortable with that and the, the latest development as far as the Bible goes is on Sunday I will manage to talk to my pastor and ask him for advice to where to get it how to get it Initially, I was just going to buy, you know, American Standard Bibles and English print. But he suggested that it should be, you know, it should be sent in the language or dialect to where the people are. I mean, <clears throat> you know, the, the Bible is not a magical book that if you read it, even if you don't understand it, you know, it, uh, it'll open up to you. It doesn't work that way. It, the only way to blessings of God and to truly know the will of God is to understand God's will and understand His nature. And, uh, well, you can't understand Him. You can't know Him if you don't understand Him. So, having said that, my pastor is, is on the uh, research and uh, I should be getting back over. He promised that he was going to call me when he is done the research. And we'll take it from there. I don't want to, I don't want to rush it right away and, and buy $300 worth because most of that is, you know, at least 80 or 90 dollars of that is the shipping and it'd be a shame just to send a, a few Bibles and then the container still empty so I want to be able to fill up the box that way I could maximize the uh, the shipping All right, what else? One of you asked if the uh, motorcycle ride to South Dakota was a charity uh, fundraising. And uh, no, it is not. It is nothing as noble as that. I, I, this is for my own personal use. Um, And that's a, that's that. What else is going on? The DIY do-it-yourself uh, camera mount. Yeah, I don't know. Still there. I'm still not junking the idea. Maybe I can. If you're facing the motorcycle, the piece of wood that was um, 
extended on the, uh, you know, on that side or on the right side. If you look down, there's a crash bar right on the bottom of that thing. I was thinking I could put another kind of a brace from the uh, crash bar to the 2x4 and that might, that might do it. That might do it. Uh, I'll have to explore that idea next time I get home. Well, that's all I got for now. So, um, we'll see you over there at the shipper, which is probably around 40 miles. We should get there right on time. I'm hoping though the, uh, I'm hoping that uh, the shipper will be ready to ship it. Not, not like the last time where it took them two and a half hours to get me loaded. So, yep. Yeah. Alright, once again, thank you for watching and uh, have a good and godly day everyone. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all those support morally and uh, financially. Uh, Barbara Miller and uh, thank you for helping me with the uh, PayPal uh, account. Alright, I better quit this before I start crying. <laughs> Later. Peace.